Hi students. Today we are discussing trigonometric identities part 5. That means exercise 8.4, question number 5, 6th, 7th and 8th subparts we are discussing. First let us discuss question number 5, 6th part. Question is prove that root of 1 plus sin a by 1 minus sin a equal to ck plus tan a. Here LHS is in terms of sin and RHS is in terms of ck and tan a. And we know that 1 by cos a is ck and sin a by cos a is tan a. That means if we divide each and every term with cos a in left side, we will get root of 1, plus, 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a by 1, minus, 1 by cos a minus sin a by cos a. That means here it will be root of ck plus tan a by ck minus tan a. And we need the answer of ck plus tan a only. So if we multiply and divide with ck plus tan a, it will be root of ck plus tan a into ck plus tan a by ck minus tan a into ck plus tan a. Look at the denominator. It is uh, a minus b into a plus b form. So it will be a square minus b square. And look at the numerator. ck plus tan a is repeating two times. So we can rewrite it as root of ck plus tan a whole square by c square a minus tan square a. And we have already learned one identity c square a minus tan square a is equal to 1. That I have already explained in my previous video. So uh, in, instead of that denominator, we can rewrite it as root of ck plus tan a whole square by 1. So, root of x whole x square equal to x. We know that 2 times x comes in radical means it will be x only. So, answer is ck plus tan a. Moving to the next one, that means question number 5, seventh part. Prove that sin a minus 2 sin cube a by 2 cos cube a minus a cos a equal to tan a. Look at the numerator. Sin a is common in that numerator. And look at the denominator. Cos a is common in the denominator. So we can rewrite it as sin a into 1 minus 2 sin square a by cos a into 2 cos square a minus 1. And sin a by cos a we know that it is tan a. So we can rewrite it as tan a into 1 minus 2 sin square a by Look at the denominator. Instead of cos square, we can rewrite it as 1 minus sin square. Because sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. We can either change sin square in terms of cos square or cos square in terms of sin square. Here I selected the cos square because in the numerator with the sin square a negative 2 comes. So while so simplifying with the negative sign in, you might have make mistakes. That's why. I selected positive terms. So cos square I changed to 1 minus sin square. Now we have to simplify that means open the bracket in the denominator so it will be tan a into 1 minus 2 sin square a by 2 minus 2 sin square a minus 1 and we have to simplify the denominator again so it will be tan a into 1 minus 2 sin square a by 1 minus 2 sin square a 1 minus 2 sin square a we can cancel so answer is tan a that is the right side. Moving to the next one that means question number 5 8th part. Prove that sin a plus cos ck whole square plus cos a plus ck whole square equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cos square a. Here uh, each and uh, both the brackets, two brackets are coming in the left side that we have to simplify. We know the identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So LHS will be sin square a plus 2 sin a cos ck plus cos square a plus cos square a plus 2 cos a ck plus c square a. First bracket uh, I marked with a red color and second bracket I marked with green color. You can easily understand that. Now sin square a plus cos square a is 1. We know that. And uh, cos ck equal to 1 by sin a cos ck equal to 1 by cos a. So after simplifying it will be 1 plus 2 sin a into 1 by sin a plus cos ck square a plus 2 cos a into 1 by cos a plus c square a. Sin a and sin a we can cancel cos a and cos a we can cancel. So it will be 1 plus 2 plus cos ck square a plus 2 plus c square a. Now 
1 plus 2 plus 2, what is that? It will be 5. So, we can rewrite it as 5 plus cos square a plus c square a. Now, cos square a, we can change it as 1 plus cot square a because we need the answer in terms of tan and cot. So, cos square we must change to 1 plus cot square a. We know that cos square a minus cot square a equal to 1. Similarly, c square a, we can rewrite it as 1 plus tan square a. So, after simplifying, it will be 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. That is the right side. So, uh, I hope you would have understand the concept. It is very easy and very important also. Similar type questions we can take and uh, do. Uh, try yourself. Then, uh, the remaining part. That means 9 and 10. Question number 5, 9 and 10. It will be coming in the next video. Okay, thank you.